Hey, what's up, you guys? Short Miss Prime here, Kamikaze 2013, with Jeff May from YesAnime.com. Oh my God, it's Jeff May from YesAnime.com. Yes. Oh my God. Oh my God, we're at Kamikaze 2013. How are you guys doing? I'm doing fantastic. I've actually been geeking out, man. I mean, there's this display over here that is just blowing my mind that I've seen before, but I can't get enough of. What are we looking at? We are looking at the uh, Play Imaginative, who we are the official. Uh, I'd say provider for is that the thing is that the word we are the distributor distributor we're the sole distributor for Play Imaginative they have these crazy Iron Man models we have one quarter scale and we actually have one twelve scale nice uh, and so what you'll see uh, right Let's directly to my left your right are these crazy one quarter scale uh, prototypes now these right here are mostly like uh, polymers resin things like that uh, and what's going to happen is these are going to be then converted into die cast and these models uh, they tend to be about 85 to 90 percent die cast and the detail for these things is insane yes. uh, and we have a lot of the the armor that you would never expect to see somebody spend that much time uh, sculpting and, and, and piecing together it's really fantastic stuff I'm really excited just looking at them. This is a great piece. And some of these I don't remember seeing in the movie, like you're saying. Like, some of them you wouldn't think they would make, but they're nailing all of them, right? In the, in the Marvel Cinematic Canon, these are the armors that were created. And if you look at them, like, each one has its own little special... Uh, piece of information. Uh, I know I found this out uh, by Wikipediaing which one is which. But I mean, if you look, I mean, there's some that are obvious. You have like the 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 Igor or Igor or whatever the hell you want to call them, like the the sort of the one that people were calling the Hulkbuster style here. Yeah. Um, you don't want to look at us the whole time. You want to look at these beautiful pieces, right? Yeah. Um, you know, we have your standard, like, Hall of Iron Men, Iron Mans. It's Iron, Iron Mans. Iron Mings. I think it's Iron Mans, because like, we're pluralizing <laughs> it. And then you Iron see, Man. you know, you have, like, the, the, the Thumper. You know, they have practical uh, things. I think the Red Snapper was designed, um, actually, for post-Avengers as, like, a part, as, like, a cleanup crew kind of a thing. I, and, are you serious? I had no idea. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that's from what I remember in my research. We actually have three of these available for pre-order right now. So three are going to be ready to go, shipping out first quarter of 2014. First one we have right here available is the War Machine uh, Mark II. And you'll look, you have two Cheetle faces. Nice. They look great. They, they, they look creepily like him. Yeah, yeah. It's like disturbing how much it actually looks like Don Cheetle. You could do your little like weird Hotel Rwanda stories and things <laughs> like that. It would be great. Um, now, come over that was here. a great movie. We have the, um, the Mark 42 armor with infinity heads. Infinity heads. Yeah, there's so many heads here. And you look and... You oh, I love head. Well, who doesn't? Uh, you know, you got you got Tony faces, and you got removed and battle damage, and you actually have a Pepper Potts from... Uh, you actually have Gwyneth, so you could make this a Gwyneth Iron Man. That looks right just like Gwyneth Paltrow. That is amazing. It's eerie, the things that I've done to this toy already. You are a very talented man. Well, uh, you did this all by yourself. No, oh no, I didn't sculpt it. I just did terrible things to it. Oh, okay. So this is available for pre-order. This will be about $669 when all is said and done. Um, the amount of you know detail and everything that's in it, it's really insane. And we also have the Star Boost uh, armor available for pre-sale, which is like kind of like a strange one to have as the third one that we're offering. Uh -huh. But I have a feeling that this is going to play a very big role in the Marvel Cinematic Universe coming up. Uh -huh. so, oh, you're um, throwing a hint, huh? Uh, maybe that Guardians of the Galaxy, I'm thinking. Uh, uh, well, you didn't say that. No, I'm not going to say that because that's... But I said it. That's my guess. You're gonna you're gonna guess that they're gonna throw Iron Man in, in, in Guardians of the Galaxy? Yes. Yeah, we'll That's see. my guess because they have him in the comics right now with the Guardians, so and they might. Brian Bendis is a crucial member of the Marvel Center. Okay. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, we now we have some of these. I mean, my favorites. I actually th there's um, Peacemaker is actually probably my favorite one of them. It just looks so cool. Yes. Um, I love the way they have it set up. I like Jack as well. The Jack one's uh, nice. You know, um, I like the, you know, we have like the flying Iron Patriot, and the, we had the, uh, you know, the Silver Centurion armor. Uh, so really, you can see a lot of these really, really amazing, incredible. I'm intimidated by how well these are made yeah. pieces. Now, know? now, what's the price point on these figures? Uh, the price point usually crests somewhere between six and seven hundred. Six and okay, so six and seven hundred pennies. Yeah. Yes, six dollars. Yeah, six bucks. Uh, six, seven hundred dollars. Now, when you think about it, though, the amount that's getting put into these and the, the, the it's like high quality metal. This isn't 
Yeah. You know, it's not a plastic model kit. This is actually like top of the line stuff, and it is top of the line. It looks like it. I mean, yeah. everything I'm seeing here. Is yeah, so it's it's the price point seems a little high until you actually kind of step back and reflect on what it is and then you're like oh actually that's that's actually well, a really good deal well yeah i mean i've seen i don't own any die cast figures but so far from what i've seen they've kind of 12 inch die cast iron man figures run for about that price range some do yeah i mean I, i've seen a lot that are you know um three to four hundred dollars five hundred dollars six hundred dollars for something that's not near where where this is i mean yeah. they have wonderful pieces these are course. 18 inch figures Figures. These are 18 inch, yeah, like the, these these cast statues are really quite incredible. And what you can do with them, and you yeah. know, like, you're like, I think I want Don Cheadle's head, this, you know, like, yeah. I, want, I want Don Cheadle to stare at me while I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> you can do that. <laughs> Better hope you have a woman that has a thing for Don Cheadle, you know, or else it's going to be kind of weird, right? More, I just... Better hope I have a woman. I guess. <laughs> yeah, after having the Don Cheadle. Let's not jump to <laughs> yeah. the Don Cheadle thing. Yeah, let's just start, start from the base and yeah. build ourselves up. So that's what we have on display. We have this, uh, you know, 20 odd uh, Iron Man suits here on display for mm -hmm. the one quarters. But we also have, uh, as I'm about to show you, all 42 of the 112th scale. Uh, let's take a look. All right. The the 112th scale, we have all 42, starting from one. And I'm, I'm going to geek out a little bit. Here's what I did when I set these up. I, I set this set up here. If you look in the middle, you have Iron Man Mark 1, and he's looking at Iron Man Mark 2. From there, we go clockwise all the way to Mark 7. Okay. Beautiful. So we have these in a perfect, in my opinion, what I did is like a per, as perfect of an array as I could do, up to seven. We go over here to the next stage. Yes. We have Mark Eight, looking Ooh. at nine, and then it's rotating. Nice. And then we're gonna do that the same way all over here up until we're done. That is that is a really cool idea. I like that idea. Well, I mean, I, I, you have to respect the characters. I'm a huge. I'm like, I'm a comic book person. So I very much like respect what's going on with the characters, and I love them. Actually, somebody turned my my sneaky uh, around, but he should be facing uh, to the to the left a little bit more. Does that irritate you just a little bit? Yeah, I kind yeah. of want to pull this up and turn it over, but yeah. I'm like, I just claimed that I did something, and now it's not getting represented. Now, if you look at it, like there's little backstories. Like you can guess a backstory. Like you have the gamma armor. Mm -hmm. You know that there's a backstory to that, and you know that, the, that there's somebody that actually showed up, and their job was to both conceptualize and backstory this armor. We saw it for maybe a split second, or maybe it was just mentioned. Mm -hmm. But bam. But there's a whole, yeah, but there's some depth to each of these armors. Oh, by far, yeah. That, that's, that, there's, there's a backstory for everything here, and that's sort of what we're doing, and we're sort of showing that here. So you Excellent. Know, we already have Hot Rod in the middle, which is... An interesting know, one. It is. It is. It is. I'm, I'm into that. Yeah, multicolored. So we have, you know, same thing. We have them here. We got... Uh, Southpaw. Yeah, Southpaw with the, the lefty and everything like that. We have, um, you know, the Silver Centurion made famous uh, in the 1980s when actually James Rhodes was Iron Man for a while before he was War Machine. Yep. Love that armor. Uh... We got, you know, and we go all the way over there. We got more. We have the Igor armor. And you can see they start getting more complex and more specialized as he's going through there. And then continuing, we actually are going to have, so towards the end, all the way up to the Mark 42. And then two war machines and an Iron Patriot. Very nice. These look great, man. Yeah, I'm in love with them. So which ones, so are any of these available for pre-order right here? Um, the ones that we have available for pre-order are actually we have on display. What we have here is I believe it's the War Machine Mark II and the Iron Patriot. And we can actually come over here. So we have the Iron Patriot here available for pre-order. They're going to be shipping in a couple of months. And we have, and you can see we've left an array of all the different, um, there's the hands that you can do. But there's also different armors. There's battle damaged armor. So you can actually switch the chest plate out that is awesome. and have a da have damaged armor. You know, I have them sort of shooting the repulsor ray there. I kind of felt like that was cool. Uh, and these are die cast. They're actually pretty heavy. Yeah. Which is really cool. And they, they I actually I, I had the honor to hold one for a minute. They're, yeah. they're awesome, man. Like there's a lot of articulation in these guys. Yeah. And I don't know. I'm just 
I kind of had, I geeked out yeah, a little bit holding it, but like, yeah, all these flaps, it's hard to tell what's articulated and everything, but like there's flaps over the feet, on the above the heels of the feet, those hips are actually, you can rotate those, and of course, like the shoulders, they move up and down, ball joints all over the place. It's, what 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 I equate it to is like like the highest quality Marvel Legends figure you can get. Yeah, you said it. You, know, you get me excited with the same Marvel Legends over here. I, I think anybody who's a toy person really is. If you weren't in love with Marvel Legends, you're an idiot. <laughs> Like that, yeah. they really were the thing, like the yes. thing to get a hold of. Yes. And these are, I've seen stuff that that looked really kind of bad. Like, remember the first line of Le- uh, of Legends from Hasbro, oh, where it was yeah. really just like, oh, like the Iron Man was all like kind of yeah. like oh. Ultimate Iron Man, and it was uh, kind of dumpy. Like this yeah. stuff is so the opposite. It's so really high quality, mm-hmm. and and you know like you have people are frothing at the mouth over these you know yeah. and, and you look at it and at first it's just like wow that's you know these these displays are great and they light up too yeah oh they, they actually awesome. do yeah. light up you can turn out the lot the um the arc reactor and the eyes actually light up wow. um so it, it, these are display pieces these are so statues really, yeah so you, you guys are basically giving us everything that we want to see in an iron man figure and then some and then some. And then some. And you get a free gift if you pre-order now, right? Actually, yeah, you get the... Um, I feel like it's an infomercial a little yeah. bit. If you pre-order now, you get a free gift. Hey, order check that out. You can order today. If, order today. Yeah, if you order now, you will actually get a one-to-one scale replica of the Iron Man flash, the, the little flash bomb right there. Uh-huh, yeah. Um, from Iron Man where he gave to the little kid. You know, mm-hmm. it, it prevents bullies, I believe, was what he said. Oh, uh, yeah, the anti-bully pellet thing. Yeah, and we got I got to play with that. And it actually does when you open it up. You can't really tell, but it is lit, so it's actually a little light-up thing. Cool. Oh, awesome. Wow, and the packaging looks good for all of these as well. I like the... If you, I like yeah, if you're a weirdo that doesn't take your stuff out of the packaging, mm-hmm. uh, there's a really, really crisp box there that, you know, like, you get the pull-out, and there's all this... You know, you're not going to, like, lose all your fists. Uh-huh. You never want to lose your fists. Yeah, no. That, that would suck. And then the, the whiplash over here, this looks pretty damn amazing. This whiplash yeah. is blowing my mind. Yeah, this whiplash here is uh, pretty impressive. Looking at that, it, now it's listed as a 112th scale. I'm not sure how accurate the 112th part is. We had the 112th and the 14th. Um, I think it might be somewhere in the middle, but don't quote me on that one. You know, it looks almost like a 1 8th or, or something like that. Yeah. yeah. But, um, but, I mean, you look at it, it's beautiful piece. I yes. Mean, it, oh, yeah. The, the talent that some people have making these things. Yeah blows my mind because yeah. I'm not talented at anything I, yeah. so to see someone being this good at something is, is just impressive and what, what these people are sort of piecing together uh, and yet these are like officially licensed and everything like that yeah. and, and so you know we have the war machine here um, the getting war machine looks to, great uh, yeah and then the hammer drones look awesome too I really like these hammer drones yeah they have them uh, I believe they have standard and like a damaged one maybe I don't know I, I thought I saw something in the in the packaging with that, but yeah, these drones are pretty awesome. They have uh, the Air Force, the Navy, the Marines, and the Army. Um, so yeah, I mean they got them. They're there, and they're they're available for pre-order as well. Uh, we're also um, selling on site. We have. Um, we have some more from the DC front. Oh yeah, let's take a look at some of the DC stuff. So is anybody gonna arrest me if I just break the glass and take this Batman and run to San Francisco? Um, I don't really think you'd make it to San Francisco. <laughs> yeah, I have a feeling it's not gonna happen, but I, <laughs> there are fantasies in my mind right now about this Batman, which sounds a little funny, but I really like how this looks. This looks incredible. I don't think you can be a true fanboy unless you don't have one weird fantasy about Batman that you don't know how to admit. <laughs> Uh, what we have here is we have, um, this is die, uh, die cast, so it's metal, um, uh, Batman based off of Jim Lee's design when he and Jeff John sort of took over the reins of the new 52 Justice League. This is pattern, uh, it's patterned after Jim Lee's design. It's fantastic. I mean, you look at it, um, you have two different heads, one serious, one angry. There's no smiling one for some weird reason. Yeah, it's always creepy when Batman smiles. Uh, th- the same thing with that you've seen a lot, different hands, sort of accessories, weapons. He's got the grappling gun. And a really interesting thing is the, um, excuse me, the cape actually is magnetic, so it latches on, so you can actually adjust it, so if you wanted to maybe lift it over and turn it to the side a little bit, you could do that, and it would still stick and look sort of more realistic, as opposed to, I remember when I had Batman toys growing up, it was like that little 
half ring with the cloth cape yeah. that would oh, fold yeah, over. Yeah, half it. ring thing. Yeah. Yeah. Or the yeah. Legends of the Dark Knight, which were just big hard plastic shells. So, so this will like stick to his wrist or his forearm if you want him covering his face. Like. Yeah, I mean. I would say no. We ha the magnets are on the cowl part, or in the, the sort of like the end part. So I'm not. I, there aren't really. Oh, it doesn't go down the ridge. Down the that would be, I think, very difficult to do. But that would be awesome. Uh -huh. We'll have to send that back to uh, Play Imaginative and all remind right. them to do that. Be like, why don't you put magnets there so you can? I'll accept 25 percent of all proceeds. I wouldn't like <laughs> an eighth of a percent of all proceeds. Alone <laughs> <so I'll> 25 <laughs> percent. Um, up next for sale, like things that we actually have available, we have the same thing with the Superman. Same deal. It's Superman. Uh, Superman from Jim Lee. Um, you know, redesigned, everything like that. Um, doesn't have the red underwear, which yeah. depends on if you're a purist or not. Some people like it, some people don't. Uh, now, if you look at, like, he's got, like, the different faces. He's actually got the heat vision face. He's got the Fortress of Solitude base. Uh, and these are actually priced, um, the Batman is $299, and this is $359. These are surprisingly very, very well priced for what they are. Yeah, they full die-cast is expensive. Yeah, it, it really is. And, and the way they sort of, like, the, the molding itself is fantastic. But, I mean, the paint is really wonderful. These things are really high quality, so the price is fantastic. Uh, we also have some more prototypes that are going to be available soon. Uh, first up is this might be one of my favorite things here. It's a Green Lantern. And if you look at all the Green Lantern constructs that he has with him, all the stuff that the, the ring is creating, this is insane. Yeah. This is absolutely insane. So I love that. And a I, lot of really armor, cool. Gatling gun, I think I see back there. Yep, yep. Oh, and battle damage battle, constructs. Yeah, yeah, if you look on the left, it's the it's the standard, and on the right, it's the battle damage. That is, and all the different hand poses and everything, too. One of the things that these people like to do is they really like to piece together, like, a story in what you want. It's not just pristine Iron Man or pristine Green Lantern. It's, yeah. they're, you know, these people, have, they've seen some stuff. They're, they're thinking of collectors, it looks like here. Yeah. Uh, we also have um, more of the new 52s. We have another Batman. We have a Flash. The Flash looks really, really, yes. like, I mean, the Batman looks great, too. The Flash looks really, really, like, that smooth. Yeah. And then, and then here's the one that the most people have actually been really excited about has been Cyborg. Yes. Uh, people have been like, we didn't think that was going to be a thing. But, I mean, Cyborg was so crucial in the Justice League. And really, I mean, a lot of, we were seeing, you know, especially in that first arc, the Justice League through the eyes of somebody new, and that's him. Mm -hmm. um, so, ultimately, we have all that. And, of course, we can't forget our one-to-one -one scale. Uh, Iron Man that you'll see people have been lining up to take if you look at this is this is a line for Iron Man right now this line this is a line but you got to understand that we've had this up here and we're about uh, what five hours into the convention right now yeah we're about five yeah. hours in and there's still a line of people just wanted to take their picture with, with, Iron with, with relaxed Iron Man so just take a look right there <laughs> he's on lights are on he's having a good time and so, yeah, I mean, this is what we have. I mean, we have lots of stuff for sale, you know, smaller items, 10, 15, but I really think you want to focus on this stuff. Uh, and you did, and I think, you know, this is this is high quality stuff. Yeah, no, I'm really, I'm super stoked about everything that's getting made. I hope I can afford to get every single one of the 1 12th scale Iron Man figures to have 1 through 42 Iron Man. I mean, that's that's gotta, hardcore. Yeah, we've got to must have some kind of deal where if you're going to buy all 42, it's not going to be 4,200. Yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> but by the time, it, it's like, the, it's like the, the state quarters. You're going to have to wait 10 years or something. I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, so we'll be, uh, yeah, I, I, I love them. You know, I mean, pick the one you like the most, you know, aim, aim at that one and then build around it. Who knows? I'm kind of geeking out over here at the Yes Anime booth. I want to thank Jeff so much, man. Thank you for taking us around no and problem, explaining man. everything to us. I'm really excited for all these figures that are coming out. Really, really amazing yeah. stuff you guys have. Geeking out is what it's all about in our world, man. Yes. I mean, that's what we do. I'm hardcore, hardcore nerd. So when I got to work with with these people, it's I'm there. It's fantastic. I'm yeah. geeking out. I got to piece these yeah. things together. Yeah. So I, you, you are very know, lucky. Yeah. I got to geek out myself. I'm probably going to steal a number of them before I leave. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you awesome. so much. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you, Jeff. All right. Kamikaze 2013. Yeah.